So here we are, me and Mick, leaving Rotherfield. Go just under a 20 mile hike to Lewis. Piece of cake. Don't worry, out of breath going up the first little hill. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to end up at the town hall in Lewis where the, the Protestant martyrs were burned at the stake. Rotherfield. Another pretty pond through there. And our first gate. Standard. And this is our first bridge. Deccan Bridge. With a style at the end. How good is that? That is pretty good. And once again, we're doing East Sussex County Council footpath. And we follow these arrows. And over the first style, this is excellent. Oh, we like that. The bridge style combination. So we've got another gate, a wider gate this time. Oh, with a pulley system on it. Pulley system. Sleeper bridge, made out of sleepers. We just saw some deer, but they legged it. And we've just come across this interesting style, which we've named the seat style. Oh, yes. Wow. That's good on your butt. Yeah, feel good. Feel good on the feet, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, yes, it does. Feels very good on the old feet. Onwards. Right, straight straight down here, Mick, and then I think we veer off. So I think there might be a gate over there in the middle of that hedge. We've got cows in the field, so I'm trying to go over to that gate over there. We've got cows over there, but hopefully they won't be interested in us. We've just had to leg it because the cows are coming over, and now we're stuck and because there's a stream the other side and we can't do anything wait they'll turn you around they're very interested <laughs> look at that one he's running look look they're running oh What do we do, mate? Oh, like like... Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on away. That one's leading them, look. Oh, this is ridiculous. When well, they haven't come any closer, could we get the other side? It thins out over here. They're following us, look. They're like, you're not getting down there, mate. They're heading us off. Yeah, well, I was thinking about going to the end. What, through all this? Don't like this. They're coming over. They're very intrigued, aren't they? Hello, cows. Hello. Hello. Right, we've got a hike to do, guys. Can you let us pass? Hmm? Come on, cows, be good. If, if we could get... Yeah, I, I mean, if we could get across here, we could walk the other side on that field bridge up there, but... We can't keep going in here. We can't. Right, 
out and doing it. Right, I'm across. You can do it, Mick. I just went on that one there. There's some that are just a bit... Yeah, that's it. Yes. God, they came quick, didn't they? Yeah. Right, we've got to get up, up here. Now. Yeah. Rock climbing as well. You didn't expect this, did you? Right, right there. All right, we made it. I'm trampled. Into a different field. Cows were in the field across there. I think they were just intrigued, really, but they were big, some of them. And you've got to be careful. So, anyway, we'll make our way to the end of this field and try and cut across again to get to the gate where we need to go to, which is up here somewhere. Hopefully. Ah. There they are, they've all just been herded back into the farm. If it only would have been 10 minutes later, we wouldn't have had to do that trip across the river and up the bank and get lost off the path. There you go, but they obviously want their dinner. So we're actually walking alongside the River Uck, which comes all the way down there and keeps going. And we'll come to another gate. How's this gate, Mick? Is it, is it nice? Yes, it's a bit of wear and tear. Oh, it's had a little bit of a mend there, hasn't it? That's all right. A little slow. Oh, only just. Not really. No. Let's try it again. I'll give it a bit of a slam. There we go. Travel pathway. Oh, let the dogs through. Like that. Oh, look though. The uh, bottom deck is not to actual spec. It's a lot thinner than it should be for Wilden styles. This is his right size. That's the wrong size. Tut, tut, tut. Tennis, anyone? It's host house. It's very pretty round here. Farms and things. Mm, could live there quite happily. Nice views. We've walked from way behind that tree line over there. So, we're about six miles in now. Brand new gate here, so um, see how it operates. Okay. Oh dear. That's not very good, is it? At least it's shorts. Must be this way. <laughs> Bit of action for you. Where are we? Awesome. Are you open? Uh, yeah. Oh, great. So, mate, how's it going? Oh, it's much better now. <laughs> <laughs> so how far are we in? We're about a third of the way in, so we thought we deserved a wee slurp. Yeah, nice one, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Ed. Nice one. Here's to many more miles. Yeah. Oh, God, that's good, isn't it? Oh, yeah.
Oh, just relax, relax those bones for a minute, those muscles. Nice in here, though. Quite a cool lamp. Quite a cool barrel lighting. We like that. Remembrance Day. Sun's out. Yeah. We found an old war bunker. Oh, well, we can get in. It was blocked off, but someone's knocked it down. Look. Not a lot to see, though. really pretty where we are right now. We're in Buxted Deer Park. Uh, yeah, it's lovely. Sun's out. Uh, we're approaching halfway-ish. Um, and we're all both feeling pretty okay, to be fair. So, uh, this is really nice. Really lovely. So we should keep going. Sun's out. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Silent. <laughs> well, he's is that? Pretty. So we're just on the outskirts of Uckfield and we found um, this zip wire look and Mick's going to have a go at it. Take some weight off your feet. Whee! That's pretty good. Yeah? There you go. Bit of zip wire action. So this is where we're at. Um, so we must be just there. Go walk along here now. Along here, I think. Uh, double decker, post and rail. Look at that. So we've made it to Uckfield. There is Uckfield train station. Now, Uckfield also have a bonfire society and uh, it's, it's a really good one and so if you live near Uckfield why not consider joining Uckfield Bonfire Society or supporting them in some way um, there you go anyway we're just well we think we're about halfway now so it's pretty good about 10 miles hoping a train might come through but I doubt it. It'll be just my luck. Yeah. Just over halfway. Just over halfway. Yeah, just uh, what, uh, what have we done mileage was? Sorry? 16.8 kilometres. 16.8 kilometres. We're just going to convert with our technology. 10.5. 10.5 miles. There you go. So. Into Oakfield and cross through Oakfield before we get to some more wilderness. So here we are at Victoria Pleasure Ground in Oakfield, and there's the view. There's the downs. See you next year. So we'll be walking then when we do Winchester to Eastbourne uh, in April. We're planning to go on April the 22nd, and we're going to be doing a. Uh, series of different walks warming ourselves up for it and making sure we can actually do it uh, but yeah there's the downs so that's a nice view and we're going to crack on here we have a view of the beacon field. we've lit a few of those in our time it's 
skate park. So now we're going through a Boothland Wood. So here we are going through the subway under the A26. Here we go, walking backwards now. Uh, Decking bridge under the main road. Busted Green Park. So, as we're in Horstead Park, I should mention Isfield and Little Horstead Bonfire Society. If you live in that area, why not join that Bonfire Society? Or offer some support in some way. There's nothing happening. Oh, slot locked. Rubbish. Big electric pylon. You can actually hear the electric going through it. How are you doing? Your friend's coming over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hello. Right, I'm off then. Nice to meet you. see them. Hello. Squirrel! Pheasant ahead. Let's see if we can get closer to him before he runs away. There it is. <laughs> so we think it's going to be dark by the time we get to Lewis. We've had a few little stops on the way because we had to eat, have something to drink, which has sort of taken us out of time a little bit because it was an eight hour walk. So we've had another hour. So it's probably going to be nine hours, which puts us in Lewis when it gets dark. So we're hoping we get close before the sun goes down because we have got lost a couple of times and had to refer back to the map. It's not always clear where to go. You really have to look out for the little arrows. Um, well, you know, not doing bad. Got a little bit of an achy hip. Um, no calf muscles, a little bit. And, which I wasn't expecting, my neck. But I think that's because you spend so much time looking at the ground where you're going which is a bit of a shame because it's such a nice countryside everywhere. Um, so yeah, a little bit of neck ache, but it'd be good to get a hot bath later tonight when we eventually get home again. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Look at this little fluffy one. Oh, you're all fluffy, man. You look quite cool. You're the coolest. Eh? What? What? You are the coolest, mate. Not you. You. 
Hello. You're a bit dirty. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's okay. Right. Hey, horses. Don't worry about us. We're all okay, okay? You just chill there. We're going to walk past you. See you later. That's all right then. So this one's a bit different. This is a style in the style of a step. I quite like that. Uh, but the step on the other side is a bit too far in to use it. How's that on the legs, mate? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's been there a long time. Okay, yeah, so we veer off from the river now. Yeah, we cut across there. This is the river Ooze. Okay, zoom out. So we just show people where we've been and where we're going. So we've walked all the way from the bottom. A. A. And we're nearly there, look. We've only got that bit to do. So that's quite cool. All right, so we'll cut off across there. And we hit the road, turn right. To those buildings over there, look. Yeah. All right. So now we can see the destination right over there in the distance. And the other side of there is Lewis. Uh, so we've got a way to go yet. And uh, an hour before it gets dark. Another step style. Oh, I was jumping over them this morning, but I'm not now. Oh, aching, Mick. Getting a little bit achy. Another pillbox. Hmm. Right, where are we going? Up there to that star? There's one there though. Which one is it? Hmm. It's a style there and there's a style there. So we found these two benches and so we just stopped for a little bit. Realised how much our feet are hurting and our legs are hurting. We've got 3.5 kilometres to go. Uh, so this is the last push. But we've got about 10 minutes till it starts to get dark. So... <laughs> We better crack on, eh? Get the torches out. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're losing the light now. Um, but we can see Lewis in the distance. If you can see over there, can you see the lights? I don't know if you can see them. Yay. There's lights in distance. That's Lewis. So, not far to go now, hopefully. And then we're going to go to the town hall, where the martyrs were burnt at the stake. Nip down to a pub, possibly the pub where the on-fire council meet, uh, three or four times a year, with representatives of all the bonfire societies. And, uh, then it'll be down to the train station uh, where our lift home will be waiting, hopefully. So, as I say, it's getting dark, so I thought I'd better sign in. I'll give you a shout when we get to the town hall. Okay, there's Lewis. We're nearly there. Oh. It's quite a way still, though, <laughs> on my tired little feet and my tired legs. But we're getting there. There is civilization. So we made it to Lewis Community Fire Station. Big shout out to Lewis Community Fire Station because all the guys from the fire brigade do a fantastic job of looking after everybody. By the way, did you know there's seven different bonfire societies in Lewis? I've got, I'll name them all for you in the link below just so you can go and have a look at them. So we made it to Lewis. There's a war memorial. So here we are at Lewis Town Hall. Don't know if you can read that, but it says, in the vaults beneath this building, 
where imprisoned 10 of the 17 Protestant martyrs who were burned at the stake within a few yards of this site, 1555 to 1557. Their names are recorded on the memorial to be seen on Cliff Hill, faithful unto death. There it is. Wow. I've never seen that before. So that's the end of the walk. Well done, Mick. Well done, Ed. We've done well, haven't we? Yeah, it's that, been a bit of a hard slog, but it's been worth it. That was really hard at the end. Really hard. We were pushing through it. And we got to the pub. That's where we have our bonfire council meeting, so we're going to have a quick beer in there. And uh, well done, Mick. Well done. Uh, guys, please don't forget to donate. Check the link out. And um, we're raising money for really good courses here. So speak to you next time. This is home of Waterloo Bonfire. Let's go in, Mick. Yes, sir. That was a 20 mile hike. That was indeed. And this is well deserved. Cheers. Cheers, mate. It's been a good one. <laughs> oh, and right. good night. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> and just in case you're wondering, I've had Rutherford and Mark Cross bonfire colours on my back. The whole way. The whole way. Because that's what. We are representing, although Mick isn't, because Mick is uh, representing Hospice in the Wheel, but I'm doing this for Rutherford and Matt Cross Bonfire Society, and these are our colours.